Hi everybody, Namaskar everybody. Welcome back to InfoSundar YouTube channel. In this video particularly, I would like to tell about the faculty recruitment, recruitment from Maulana Azad National Institute of Technology, Bhopal, MP, India. That is known as, in short, MANIT, an institution of national importance. This is actually NIT, Bhopal, Maulana Azad National Institute of Technology, Bhopal. From this video, I would like to show the complete details about the different vacancies in this particular video. Uh, with the complete details uh, from the notification given in the dailies. Maulana Azad National Institute of Technology, Bhopal. This is under an institution of national importance under Ministry of Education, Government of India. This is the, this is the advertisement for recruitment on faculty positions. So in this, you know, there are different levels of uh, positions here. Assistant Professor Grade 2, on contract basis, assistant professor grade two on contract basis, assistant professor grade one positions. So in this uh, group group and pay of pay band, you know, group A level 10 entry pay 70,900 rupees, pre-revised pay PB3, AGP 6,000. The current vacancies, number of vacancies, you know, altogether 80, Unreserved 32, OBC 22, SC 13, ST 6, EWS 7. So the other details you can see in the details here, I'll tell you in the next uh, next two, couple of minutes. And the other pay scale like, you know, grade two, 73,100 with uh, AGP about 7,000. And whereas group A level 12 entry pay, one lakh hundred and 1,1500. This is as per the pay revision scale of 12 with the AGP 8,000 rupees. And for this way, backlog vacancies are also there, total number of vacancies, you know, and also OBC 9 and SC 9 under backlog, backlog OBC 9, SC 9, ST 9, PWD 5. For all these categories, you just go through the details here. So these are all the pay packages as per the registrar's notification given in the dailies. Let us move on to the next part about this. So what are the departments in different departments vacancies available? Departments where vacancies exist in required specializations from civil engineering, electronic engineering, mechanical engineering, electronics and communication engineering. And in these specializations are also given in this uh, right hand side, you can see that. And uh, materials and metallurgical engineering and chemical engineering, computer science and engineering. In this computer science and engineering, there are two, 12 different specializations like uh, data science, software systems, high performance computing, algorithms and theoretical computer science, human computer interaction, computer vision, network and systems security, software engineering, wireless and next generation networks, cybercrime and information warfare, uh, digital uh, forensic and also cloud computing. These are all the different uh, specializations under computer science and engineering. And whereas Department of Mathematics and Bioinformatics and uh, computer applications uh, under this specialization is required pure mathematics for mathematics subject. Uh, and uh, data science, data modeling, data visualization, computer network, cryptography, and data security. Under humanities and social sciences, there are economies like macroeconomics, uh, mac microeconomics, macroeconomics, econometrics, public economics, behavioral economics, health economics, and international economics, and also economic development. So these are all the economics related under humanities and social sciences vacancies and uh, physics under physics nuclear physics specialization theoretical physics astrophysics biophysics and also laser optics spectrography septoscopy and uh, chemistry uh, inorganic organic and also analytical chemistry and physical chemistry available specialization architecture and planning also there 
under art, architecture and planning, uh, different uh, four different specializations are there. And uh, 13th uh, subject, management studies, especially finance. And 14th, Center for Artificial Intelligence. This is exclusively, exclusively other than computer science. We have seven different specializations under computer vision and AI, artificial intelligence, machine learning and deep learning, AI algorithms and systems, human computer interaction, knowledge representation and reasoning, and speech and language processing, and also robotics under Center, Center for Artificial Intelligence. So the, the 15th subject is Center for Excellence in Product Design and Smart Manufacturing. Under this, uh, the various uh, computer-related courses under artificial intelligence, robotics, and also CAD, computer-aided designing, and also computer integrated manufacturing, CIM, artificial intelligence in smart manufacturing, micro manufacturing, nano macro manufacturing, machine learning techniques and mechanics engineering. And the next one is Center for Excellence in Water Management. Under this water management, uh, there are six different specializations, surface groundwater hydrology, climate change, architect, agriculture water management, irrigation engineering, water resources system analysis and management, urban and rural uh, water management, and environmental engineering. These are all the various specializations under water management. And the next one is energy center, solar energy specialization. And biological sciences, uh, there is no specialization applicable, total altogether biological science. So altogether 18 different uh, departments are there. For all these, you know, you can apply uh, based on the qualification required, especially all engineering departments, there must be BA or BTEC, and also other equivalent degree in the relevant discipline, MTEC or ME, MS. And also for computer application, MP, MCA may also be considered. For humanities management and applied science, BA or BSc or become any other equivalent and also master degree, PG degree in the relevant discipline. Essential qualification for Department of Mathematics, Bioinformatics and Computer uh, Applications, Faculty of Mathematics, PhD in relevant discipline with mathematics at graduation level, MSc or MS or uh, MA in mathematics. Faculty of Computer Science also, there must be the basic qualification along with basic qualification phd is required phd in, in, is compulsory and oh, and also essential qualification along with phd uh, basic qualification master degree plus phd compulsory and these are all the different subjects they need uh, you now from this uh, manit faculty recruitment 2021 how to apply on this the website id is that mainit.ac.in slash careers. If you click on this one, you will get the complete uh, application procedure and all. And what is the last uh, deadline you need to submit application fee and all. So we'll discuss in this particular information and candidates belonging to unreserved or OBC category, how to pay application fee, processing fee, 1200 rupees. Whereas uh, through uh, SBI collect, which is non-refundable, the fee can be paid by accessing the relevant page on the following path, state of corporate institute, Madhya Pradesh, type of corporate institution, educational institutions, educational institutions name, uh, director, man it, recruitment application fee for the Indian national supplying uh, from abroad, you know, OCI card holders and application fee USD 50 uh, is required to be paid. And whereas uh, SCST and PWD candidates and women candidates are exempted from application fee. So no need to pay 1200 rupees, uh, especially S SC, ST, PWD categories and women candidates need not to uh, pay the fee. No P is there, uh, no fee structure is there. P is exempted uh, from SC, ST, PWD and also women candidates. And the candidates will be required to submit separate application form for each post with separate application fee. So the next thing is, Application fee once submitted is not transferable, of course, which is non-refundable, is non-adjustable for any other future vacancies. And the vacancy details, whatever it may be, it may be varied from day to day, time to time updates. And shortlisting candidates eligibility criteria, the selection process will consist of a scrutiny of uh, applications for eligibility of applicants as per registered notification. 
schedule a shortlisting the eligible application uh, applicants based on their credit point score and research academic performance and also followed by presentation and interview this is the procedure you need to follow so this is more important here followed by presentation and also interview so in case of large number of applicant applicants for shortlisting applicants institute has the right to set higher norms of scrutiny than minimum prescribed norms to conduct a written exam for shortlisting of candidates so that if at all more number of people are there the shortlist first of all they will conduct written exam also this is what it is mentioned under shortlisting criteria and what is that you know rate uh, grade points for grade for grade points nit norms will be proceeded nit nit norms i'll show you here in this uh, reservation system and all as per government norms and another one uh, this is actually you need to submit through the form of credit point you know, the application should reach the, to the registrar manit bopal 4620003 Uh, so as to reach uh, institute by closing date of receipt of application 15 september 2021 5 pm so this is the deadline closing date of the application is on 15 september so the name of the post department must be superscribed post applied for uh, suppose assistant professor department of chemistry or mathematics or something else and candidate should enclose only very specific documents in support of claims i mean Uh, what you can say, the, they should refrain the enclosing redundant relevant documents, PhD thesis, complete published paper. Such relevant documents will be separated from application uh, dossier and shall be discarded. Institution shall not be responsible for any way. Suppose you need not to send thesis or complete published papers and all. At the time of interview, you can show all these documents. Only the qualification uh, documents, the photocopies, can be sent. institution will not be responsible for any postal delay and the another thing you know this is all about this was given on actually 13th august 2021 and the next one the detailed protocol i mean uh, points advert uh, what you can say the schedule of ef first statutes of nit recruitment rules they will follow as per the this one all these you can download from internet the grade points for phd how much Uh, payment and all all these things you, you can get this from uh, you can get from this information and how they calculate the points points for the scholars uh, how many credit points will be given for uh, suppose for example you can see that one external sponsored research uh, suppose two eight credit points consultancy projects two credit points a uh, phd completed including pc submitted eight credit points the people who completed their phd they will get eight credit points directly and one journal paper in science uh, science citation index or scopus paid journals not allowed of course four points will be given one conference paper indexed one credit point head of the department dean or chief warden or something two points credit two points warden or assistant warden associate dean one credit point as per the previous experience and chairman and convener of different standing committee and uh, uh, special committee uh, like that 0.5 credit points departmental activities identified by head of the department like lab lab in charge or department level committee 0.5 credit points workshop or, or faculty development program or short term courses of minimum 5 working days duration offered as coordinator or convener two credit points will be given so that uh, this is more important here the majority of the faculty uh, will conduct as convener or coordinator for the faculty development program not less than 5 day 5 working days and for conducting national programs like global in initiative of academic networks etc two credit points so that is of of course based on some of the conditions here program of two weeks duration one credit point program of one week duration one credit point national and international conference organized by organized as chairman or secretary three credit points and uh, length of service over and above the relevant minimum teaching experience required for a given cadre two credit points and establishment of new labs four credit points theory teaching of over and above six credit six credit hour course 
uh, one credit point will be assigned. So these are all the calculations that you can see. And some more are there. Post graduation dissertation guided 0 0.5, undergraduate project 0 0.25, and text or reference books published on relevant subjects from reputed international publishers, six, six credit points. Text or reference books published on relevant subjects, two credit points, and significant outreach institute out of out activities, one credit point. Fellow IEEE, FNA, FNAE, FNA sign, 10, 10 points will be given. And also placement percentage only for the placement cell op officers uh, or faculty in charge of placement. Uh, above 85 percentage, four credit points will be given. 75 and 80, 84, two credit points will be given. These are all the credit points uh, list, you know, as per the NIT norms. And these are all the details you can go through. Uh, even you can browse from internet you can get complete data on this particular aspect. So that keep sharing this video, whoever needed jobs, whoever are really uh, eligible for this, you can just share it to many people, which will be beneficial to those people of your, with your sharing. So that keep sharing uh, this, this video, uh, uh, somebody may get advanced benefit out of it, so that it will be very much useful to those people uh, uh, from, uh, the vacancy is to be filled Maulana Ajad National Institute of Technology, Bhopal. And thank you for your watching this video and keep sharing to many people who ever needed. Thank you one and all once again.